In this video, I'm gonna be answering why people use diatomaceous earth for chickens. And stay tuned because I will actually go through a step-by-step -step guide on how to use it for your chickens. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. If you're looking for natural ways to treat your flock for parasites, you may wanna add diatomaceous earth to your care plan. More and more chicken owners have jumped on board with natural methods of coop care in recent years. For luckily, more research is conducted every year to use this ancient substance to prevent external parasites on our chickens. So what is diatomaceous earth? The name diatomaceous earth sounds like really intense sand or a chemical substance, but according to the National Pesticide Information Centers, diatomaceous earth is made from the fossilized remains of tiny aquatic organisms called diatoms. Their skeletons are made of a natural substance called silica. Over a long period, diatoms accumulated in the sediment of rivers, streams, lakes, and oceans. Today, silica deposits are mined from these areas. In other words, this silty power powder is old. Furthermore, the powder, when examined under a microscope, is actually quite sharp. Its sharpness and fineness make it an extremely drying substance. This is why it works well for killing unwanted external parasites in your chicken coop. It dries and cuts the parasites even through the exoskeleton of the parasite. Now, why use diatomaceous earth for chickens? If you're not using chemical parasite removal products on your chickens, adding DE or diatomaceous earth to your routine maintenance plan can help cut down on the need to down your birds with toxic chemicals. But that being said, you should use DE mainly as a preventative in your chicken coop rather than a response to a full-fledged infestation. You can also provide diatomaceous earth the free choice in the form of a mixed dust bath so your chickens can roll around in it whenever they feel the need to self-manage their external ride-along. In short, using diatomaceous earth in place of other external parasite preventatives means you're cutting down on unnecessary chemical usage and allowing your chickens to care for themselves naturally. Now, let's talk about some safety concerns with diatomaceous earth. While DE is a natural way of preventing parasites, there are still some safety concerns to be aware of for both you and your chooks. Diatomaceous earth is fine and sharp. If inhaled, it can cause respiratory distress in both you and your chickens. Because of this, it's wise to remove all of your chickens from the coop before dusting. And don't forget to wear a mask to keep your lungs safe from fine DE particles. You'll notice that we're not talking about dusting chickens directly. Inhalation risks are the main reason for this. Now let's get into avoid direct application of diatomaceous earth. Some swear by the direct application of DE to their chickens. Still, due to its drying characteristics and its ability to cause respiratory issues, I feel it's safer to use as an indirect form of prevention in your chicken coop. Second, it's imperative to ensure you've selected the food grade version of diatomaceous earth when working with your animals. There is another version of DE that is often used as a filtration method for some pools and water filters. According to ingredi.com, pool grade diatomaceous earth is calcined, which means it has been heat treated and activated for use in filters. The high temperatures further harden the diatom exoskeletons, creating a better filtering agent. This process also turns the silicon dioxide within the DE into crystalline silica. Some calcined DE products, including pool grade diatomaceous earth, can contain high concentrations. Because crystalline silica is dangerous and can be harmful for both human and animal health, pool and filter grade diatomaceous earth should only ever be used for filtration. Now, you'll want to use only food grade diatomaceous earth, like I said. In other words, the DE used in filtration systems has been altered. So make sure you're only using food grade. Lastly, when using DE on the floor of your coop, make sure there is plenty of bedding on top of the DE. Unfortunately, the drying effect of diatomaceous earth can cause cracking on the bottom of your chicken's feet if they are in direct contact with it. This can lead to cracks, wounds, and on their feet, even infections such as bumblefoot. So be sure to have a generous layer of bedding between DE and your chickens. Now, let's answer this question. Should you use diatomaceous earth internally with your chickens? When it comes to feeding DE to your chickens, the efficacy is currently unproven. Some believe that the sharpness of diatomaceous earth particles will slice and kill the parasite inside of their birds. However, others believe that the drying and slicing characteristics of DE are ineffective when introduced to so much moisture, i.e. in the chicken's digestive system. Furthermore, there is little research on the safety of DE for consumption with chickens, so tread lightly if you decide to top dress your chicken's feed with DE. Now, let's get into how to use diatomaceous earth for your chickens step by step. But before I get into that, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg-laying chicken breeds. All right, before I 
start. When planning your yearly care for your flock, I recommend implementing diatomaceous earth at least once every three months. All right, here's how to use DE. Step number one, remove your flock from the coop. Remember, your chickens cannot inhale the particles of DE without having respiratory distress. So make sure everyone has moved a safe distance from the coop before you go to work on dusting the coop. Number two, clean the soiled bedding from the coop. Remove all the old bedding from the coop and dispose of it far from your chicken's home. Tagalon parasites can grab onto anything and find their way back to your chicken coop, including barn cat coats. Number three, allow the coop to dry. If you can afford to keep your chickens in a temporary space for a day or so, allow the flooring of your coop to dry naturally before adding DE. This ensures the DE will have the best chance of coming in contact with any existing parasites. Number four, wear a mask and eyewear. Remember, you don't want to inhale DE as it is sharp and dry, very sharp and dry. Additionally, it can be drying and irritating to the eyes, so eyewear is often necessary. Number five, open windows. When it comes to DE, it little goes a long way, and that little bit will hang in the air for quite a while if there isn't proper ventilation. So if possible, let some fresh air in before you begin spreading DE in your coop. Number six, spread the diatomaceous earth. Use a scoop to spread the diatomaceous earth in every nook and cranny of your coop. Focus directly on the floor and any wood in the coop. Red poultry mites like to hang out there. Don't forget to clean and dust the roosts in your coop too. Also a favorite place for mites. Number seven, rebed the coop. Once the diatomaceous earth has settled and the coop is clean, it's time to rebed the coop with your bedding of choice. Number eight, check your chickens for parasites. Before you add your chickens back to the coop, look them over for parasites that may already be hiding out between their feathers. If needed, you can spray your chickens with an essential oil solution to kill existing external parasites before introducing them to their newly cleaned coop. On the other hand, if the infestation is full blown, a chemical spray may be the best option to save your flock. Number nine, welcome your chickens home. Once you've rebedded the chicken coop with your favorite bedding, you can reintroduce your chickens to their home. And here's a little bonus here. If you want to make a dust bath of DE, here's how to do it. Nothing gets overlooked more than a dust bath when it comes to caring for your chickens. In fact, a dust bath is one of the best ways to help your chickens manage external parasites and body oils on their own. If you've ever let your chickens out of the coop and watch them dash for a sunny, silty spot to fluff about in, you'll know they'll appreciate an easily accessible dust bath. But if you'd like to give your chickens a DE dust bath, I recommend mixing fine dirt from your property with a small amount of DE. As you know, chickens love to kick up dust when they're bathing, so it's important to manage the amount of DE in their baths so they do not develop respiratory problems from the diatomaceous earth. If you found this video helpful, check this one out over here. That's going to do it for us here at the Happy Chicken Group. Thanks for listening. If you find our content interesting, if you learned something new, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And with that, I hope you have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.